hit when you look up at me. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> it's my uh, Thanks again to everyone who has uh, performed such beautiful stuff tonight and uh, made it meaningful, at least to me. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> who, who, who am I? Who, who am I? To, to go quoting Rocco, if not the guy, into whose hands were passed a book about Nadia, one of the iconic works of the French Surrealist movement by André Bertrand, a book whose nonlinear structure is grounded in reality by references to other Paris Surrealists and 44 photographs. A book that starts with the line, Who am I? It's also squirrel, no, chipmunk, throwing a new light on a new dark, or get my good side, it's the dark one, it really pops when properly lit. Or when I flexed for the president so she could feel my bicep, and one, I told her now she was bisexual, and two, asked her if by alternating between eating white and dark meat I was at risk of developing zebra muscles. Not one person asked me to put a sock in it. I've seen a black and fuchsia striped sock on the hedge. Is that springtime putting out the call of nature to pull our collective sock up? Looking for an echo. Looking for an echo? How about some cynicism, Kane? Got PSI running into IT&T with a nervous tick to overlap at TAC? Ah, freedom. Ah. A cynicism came, but that mechanical, repetitive, and meaningless speech is so three word of the days ago, long enough either for a resurrection or today's WOTD, apostasy, a total desertion of or departure from one's religion, principles, party, cause, etc. I used to call myself Paul the Apostate. Poor Polly, no more mindless parroting for me. Who am I again? A voice in the whirlwind. V is for vortex. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Gas. <laughs> I went from the weather network to revisiting the name for those who believe it's possible to live without consuming food. I think it's their prerogative. <laughs> <coughs> Sound better in French. Ma père. Il s'appelle Ogi. <laughs> Don't hold your breath, Aryans. My pappy used to play the mouth organ, but never did he cover crimson and clover, not the way Tess did. I mean, Tannis and Jet. Let's not split atomic nuclei. Was that a mic or a name dropping? It's also homophonic and ever so slightly microphobic. When I pass my hand across, you guys, audience, I want you to point both arms to the floor. Are you ready? I'm going to pass it across, both arms to the floor. Thanks, thanks. The floor, the floor. Let's try it again, the floor. The... <laughs> Somebody, <laughs> tell me. Somebody tell me where the floor is. <laughs> okay. No, not the floor above us. Okay, let's try it again. There we go. Thanks for answering that perennial question, flowering only in my floraison. What's the sound of one hand causing a gravity wave? <laughs> so, so, so. Um, happy birthday, Einstein. Who am I to, to say me equals them? See? Squared. Thanks. 